Hello everyone, how you doing? This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here, and I'm, well, I'm bringing you another Simpsons video. <laughs> yep, that's right. Now, full disclaimer, this video is partially sponsored by The Silver Trader, and it's something that is pretty dang cool. Um, now, The Silver Trader and I, uh, we, we have a really good relationship, so... Um, when he looked previously and he's seen all the Simpsons stuff and an opportunity came up, uh, for him to, you know, get a hold of something, which I was telling him, I said, look, you know, it's so difficult to get a hold of. Um, then he jumped on it and well, he got a hold of quite a few of these. Now this is. And I, you know what, I could just zoom straight in here, can't I? There's no point. You've seen it before, but you haven't seen it before on this video, on this uh, camera here. So still in the plastic bag, so. Because um, I never take any of my Simpson stuff out. So we have the half ounce Homer Simpson nuclear power plant there. And you can see just how awesome it is. Look at the details in the cloud. Look at the details on the building. I mean, I am just kind of blown away. In fact, let me zoom in some more because even though I'm looking at it through the outside case, if you like, um, you know, this plastic case, it looks amazing. Now, this is one of the coins I actually haven't slagged off. Um, meaning, you know, I didn't rip it to shreds. And it's something that I could easily do with most coins. Um, just because, well, they're... <laughs> as you can see in, uh, you know, in a few minutes here. Um, but some of the coins were just really ill thought out. So anyway, this is four nines of fine silver. And uh, let me tell you, when I bought this, um, you know, half ounce, I think I paid about, it was, I think from the Perth Mint with my account, it was 20, 28 pounds plus delivery, which was about, I think it was about 15 pounds. And then of course I got hit with, Oh, sorry. No, it was even more than that. Sorry. It was, it was about 32 pounds. And then I got hit with delivery or something. Uh, but overall, this ended up costing me a fortune. Um, I could have bought 100 ounces. No, sorry. 100 grams of gold easily at the time. And it was really annoying. Now, as you can see here, these are limited uh, to 15,000. So this is the latest one here. It's the 2020 version. There's only 15,000. Well, the really, really cool thing is, is that you don't have to worry about, A, getting hit by DHL's charges if you're in the UK. B, having to pay massive shipping or anything else because the Silver Trader has them. I mean, I'm actually at the point where I'm considering getting a few off of them. Um, just because, well, I like the Simpsons a lot and it would be nice to have one open and exposed. Um, as we kind of do with some of the other things. So if I just, I'm going to put the Simpsons one here for the moment, kind of behind that donut so we can see it in a minute. But like we have the BU version here of the Homer on his own. And this is a one ounce version, by the way. And then we have a carded version and the carded version, let's just zoom in a little bit. So these had just 25,000. Um, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, 1,000 uh, in the card. So that's it. So this was only 1,000 in the card at the time. And then there was 25,000 of these. Um, 25,000 of these, seriously, wow, a lot, but only a thousand in the card. Good investment, I think. Then we have the Krusty the, uh, the Clown, 
I'm pretty sure I actually bought these from the Silver Trader, but I can't be 100%. Um, now, in the card, Krusty was limited here to 2,500. Very cool. So, again, another good purchase, but, I, you know, I, I paid through the, the rear end with all of these kind of things. So, um, it sounds like it's a good purchase. Um, it's kind of what you're going to get on the return side of things. And, you know, th there is plenty of uh, collectors. And, you know, if we have these coins and they pretty much cease to exist, then, you know, there you go. But 15000 for the half, uh, half ounce, um, the Homer Simpson with the nuclear plant. Now, that is nothing when you look at everything else there's no nuclear plant in any of these photos guys so that is super cool we have a donut we have bart we have homer in front of uh most tavern we have little maggie we have this this really expensive two ounce um simpson family coin i mean i really do not understand why it's so expensive um but it just is it's People are still going crazy for, excuse the, the light angle, I mean, if I block it out, you'll see, but yeah. Um, we then have uh, Marge, Lisa, Duffbeer. The only coin that I'm actually missing out of all of these, okay? And there's all, well, technically there's two if you want to be really pedantic. Two, I'll do it this way, I do not want to offend anyone, is I'm missing... They did a, a one ounce Homer Simpson like this in gold, carded and in a BU state. Now, I'm seriously after the carded version. And of course, then I'll be after the BU state. But the carded version is around about four and a half thousand pounds. Uh, now, that was the last time I took a look. Um, it's moved up and down. Depends where you're going to buy it from and who you're going to buy it from. Uh, more, some of these Simpson ones cost more than the gold itself, which is ridiculous. So, I wanted to, uh, to share this with you guys. Um, and I wanted to just, you know, let everyone see that I, I can tell you now that the silver trader took my advice. He bought quite a few of these. And I mean, he doesn't do things by half. We all know that. Uh, anyone that's ever used them, um, you know, has them as, you know, if you're a customer of his or whatever, you're going to know full and fine well that he doesn't do things by halves. He'll, he will either be in or out of a deal. And that's it. So, um, yeah, if you want to be part of this silly craze, this fun craze, um, I mean, this totally hits onto my generation, um, you know, when I was just a, a kid and everything. Uh, and even now, I mean, my boys love it. Um, yeah, I would definitely get, you know, whatever you could afford. I mean, have one of these in your portfolio for the fun sake of it. Um, if not, they make great gifts as well, but again, it's your money. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, the 15,000 is a high number ish, but I, 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 all I can say is I am just amazed that he has what he has. And, uh, you know, I am looking forward to, you know, contacting him to make sure that I have a few more of these. Uh, added to my collection because if it goes up into value as the other things have done um, then holy bejeebies yeah I'm I'll be very happy with that well that's just my kind of two pence on that matter um, I've uh, I've taken all the time to bring all of this from outside uh, well from inside of my home because they're on display um, I do like to have them on display. Uh, it makes me feel quite happy to have them on display. Um, and uh, I, 
think these are the only ones I do have on display, quite honestly. Um, and I brought them all out into the workshop. They're going to have a nice dust off, go back in to the house, and they'll sit waiting for the next one to come out. But I'll leave a link in my description again to the Silver Trader. And uh, yeah, please go over, have a look. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching. If you want to see anything else, if you want to, uh, you know, if you have an opinion, a thought, whatever, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So be safe, everyone, and take care. From Ace Bullion to you. Bye for now.